I was sitting in prison, right? And I was looking. I was like, how did you become a drug dealer? Mm. And when I found out the information about selling drugs is prevalent in our community, mm -hmm. meaning that you could go to any block, Almost, any yeah, liquor yeah. store, any and house, how to get some, and they and can show you how to do it. Oh, man, over there, dude over there, he sell it, and uh -huh. this how you weigh it, and this how you put it in a bag. But and if you ask anybody in the hood them saying questions about how to correct your credit, they don't have a clue. Wow. How to buy a house. When I got ready to buy my first house, mm -hmm. I had all the money. And didn't know how to Nobody do Nobody could tell me how to buy a house. Right. I got ready to buy a motel. Nobody could tell me about how to buy a motel. So I was like, wow, why wasn't this information privileged to us, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, like it is to so many other people? And then I questioned my lawyer one day. I was like, man, how you become a lawyer? And he said, well, my mama was a lawyer. My daddy was a lawyer. Wow. So it fell into his lap, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and I found out that with our kids, it's, 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 it's not like that. Yeah. You know, and somebody has to go out and bring this information back to us. First, we, we got to get our people to understand that we need it. Mm. Because when you don't know that you need it, when you think that everything is okay and right. it's, not, it's okay, not okay, you know, it's not okay for our people to be sleeping on the street like they are. You know? Right. But you're looking at it like it's everyday thing, so you're not thinking. That that's that that's well, we not start normal. to think that killing is okay. Yeah, the gang banging and, and jumping on somebody and you know and and just all the other nonsense that that, that we do to each other. We we we've been taught that. I mean, Jim Crow was was hard. He, he yeah. told us, man. He said, y'all listen to me. I controlled him for four hundred years, and it's still we y'all whooping. Y'all trying to whoop it into right. him. We ain't out of that four hundred yet, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, everything is is sounding so great with this man. Where can they get this new book, Twenty One Key? I'm getting mine today. I ain't leaving out of here without me getting my book. I know that. Man, y'all go to my website and order it. You know, we we in short supply right now, but we finna order a big order. You can get it at my website, freewaytrickyross dot com, uh, and it's gonna be everywhere else too, but. You know, like I always tell y'all, man, the hell with Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I respect him, but he don't need no more money. Nah, he don't. <laughs> <laughs> he don't. Hell, let's share some of that wealth, boy. You like the economic Santa Claus, bro, <laughs> for the hood, man. I appreciate you, man.